So, we have parental controls coming, and this is pretty much work from Endless that is merged in GNOME. I'm not quite sure if all bits will land for 336, but I believe it depends to the distro vendors if they ship it or not. Taking into account that this is very flat pack oriented, I doubt we will see it on Ubuntu, but we may see it on Silverblue. Anyway, to the demo! So, the first way to set up parental controls is directly from initial setup, the very first time we're making an installation. On user creation we get a new option for creating pretty much a child account. Tick that, and go next. Now it will ask us to add the credentials for the kid we don't have. And then, we get to the main screen that all action happens. The first option is to disable all web browser usage. The second we can do is to forbidden certain apps, and that makes more sense if we create a child account on an already set up machine, and I will show you that later. By the way, notice all those are flat pack apps. The third option is to restrict our fantasy kid from installing new apps. In case we allow the child to install new apps, we can restrict those to their user account only. That's doable only with Flatpak. The fifth and last option is to restrict application usage according to Peggy. That will work on GNOME software, not sure what happens to Flatpak CLI. Anyway, next we complete the parent password, that is pretty much the system admin, and of course we put the same password with our kid, so if we forget it? We can politely ask them. I'm not going to create a user account from initial setup within my current session because weird things may happen. Instead, I will show you how we create a child account on an already set up machine. First we need to open settings, and let me scale the window a bit. Then, we need to go to user accounts, and create a child account. A child account is potentially everyone that is an administrator. We are done from here, and our next move is to open the parental app that is part of Malcontent Library. It currently misses an icon, but Jakub is working on that. When we unlock it it will discover the child account, and from that point everything is the same as before, so nothing new to show you. Now you're probably wondering why this app isn't part of settings. I asked Philip Withel, and that is for two reasons. Reason 1. Endless had initially that module inside settings, but people weren't easily discover it. Reason 2 and most important, there are plans to limit the time allowed on the computer, and collect stats of how long the kids spend on the computer, together with historical data for applications usage, and all those aren't a good fit inside settings app. But beyond everything, I want to give an advice to all kids that may save their life, never ever pick the paper. <laughs> Thank you.